In this lesson, I will update the Lesson 1 graph to filter the input data and then write that data to a spreadsheet. I'll introduce the filter component, the spreadsheet writer component, metadata propagation, and some keyboard shortcuts that improve the user experience. I'll start by making a copy of my Lesson 1 graph and calling it Lesson 2. Now I want to filter the input data such that I only keep certain records, those that are credit or debit records. Other records I will discard. I can do that by introducing a filter component to the graph. The filter component is in the transformations group of the component palette. I can browse for it there. I might find it more quickly if I type part of its name here. Faster still, I can use the keyboard shortcut, which pops up a dialog where I can start typing the component name and find it immediately. I can place the filter component on the graph editor panel and then connect the edges to it one by one. Or I can drag the component directly on top of an existing edge and Clover will reconnect the edges for me. Note the difference in visual style on the two edges. The second edge is dashed. This is an indication that Clover auto-propagated the metadata on this edge. Clover knows that a filter component usually only limits the amount of data rather than actually changing the names or types of fields, so Clover assumes that the metadata on the second edge will be the same as the metadata on the first edge and automatically makes that assignment. If I were to change the metadata on edge 1, Clover would automatically change the metadata on edge 2. If for some reason I do not want to use auto-propagation, I can explicitly assign metadata to each edge. For now, I'll use auto-propagation. Now the filter component is in line between my reader and my writer. The filter is reading data on its input port 0 and writing data on its output port 0. The filter's output port 1 is not connected. I want to use the filter to remove certain records from the data. I can right-click on the reader component and select Inspect Data. I'll move the Data Inspection tab to a larger panel where it's a bit easier to see. If I look at the Transaction Type field, I can see that most records are debit or credit, indicated by D or C, but there are the occasional Audit records, indicated with an A. I do not want Audit records to appear in the output, so I will configure the Filter component to remove them. A double-click on the Filter component opens its Property Editor. The Property of Interest is the Filter Expression. A click here opens the Filter Editor. The list of fields on the input port are in the upper left. There are functions and operators listed on the right. The expression builder is below. I want to accept only records whose transaction type field is not equal to A. A double click on the field name moves it into the expression. A double click on the not equal operator. Then I enter the string A. Clover tells me my expression is valid. I can also change the label on the component here. I'll call it Remove Audit Records. If I run this graph, I can see that I have filtered out seven records. Now I want to write this data to a spreadsheet. Using the shortcut from earlier, start typing spreadsheet in the filter area and quickly find the spreadsheet data writer. I can grab the end of this second edge, note the crosshairs when I hover, and reconnect it to the input port of the spreadsheet writer. 
a right-click delete removes the trash component I no longer need. And I'll reposition the writer component to make the layout nicer. A double click on the spreadsheet writer opens its property editor. I want to define the name and location of where I will put this output file. I could write it anywhere on local disk. I could write it to a remote location using HTTP or FTP. I could write it to Amazon S3. For now, I'll write the file to the data out directory of my project and call it transactions.xlsx. I'll save and run the graph again. I see indications that the graph ran successfully. All green check marks and a finished OK in the green console. I can also see that the output spreadsheet appeared in my data out directory. I'll open it in an external instance of Excel and see the data is present and that there are no audit records. So to recap lesson two, I made a copy of the graph we created in lesson one, added a filter component to remove certain records, and wrote the output to a spreadsheet.